my friends. So here we are, Mania, day one. It's about a quarter after eight in the morning. I don't need to leave for work until like 10.30, so I figured I would stitch for an hour while I enjoy my coffee. Um, so since I'm working today and I'm a little tired from getting in late last night, my plan is just to start a Mill Hill today since they're already kitted up and I don't have to think really about floss colors and fabric. Um, I originally was gonna start with this sun but so, um, as those many of you probably know, in School of Magical Stitches and Literature, the first 12 days of May, we're having the Quidditch World Cup. And so for the Quidditch World Cup, you get, I think, one point for every 100 stitches you stitch. And that works out great for Mania, because that means um, we don't have any homework for the first 12 days. So for most of Mania, I can work on whatever I want, which works out great for new starts, and it will encourage me to get a lot of stitches into those new starts. But anyway, so part of the Quidditch World Cup is, um, of course, every team, um, for in every game of Quidditch, there's a golden stitch. And so the first person in each um, match who stitches a thousand stitches of gold uh, is considered to have caught the golden snitch. So I was going to start mania off with this project, this golden sun, but I think since our Quidditch match has already been going for about five hours, somebody has probably almost caught, excuse me, down. Since our match has been going on for already five hours, it started at three o'clock this morning, somebody's probably close to catching or has already caught the snitch. So I'm going to be strategic and I am going to save this project for Saturday morning because I will probably get home from work around three o'clock in the morning and um, if I start this when I get home from work and stay up to put a thousand stitches in maybe I can catch the snitch so that's my strategic thought right now to save this for the match against I think it's Ravenclaw um, who's our second match but uh, for now I'm going to start this s'mores project and try and get a few stitches in before I go to work. Our first, our first Quidditch match is against Gryffindor. Boo. <laughs> um, so I, uh, I definitely want to win that one. So I'm going to try and get uh, several stitches in to this this morning to contribute to that match. I'll see you guys later. Hello. It is the second day of Mania. This is how far I got yesterday. Um, on the s'mores kit. I might throw that back in my bag to work on today at lunch. Just because uh, it's easy. Mill Hill kits might be my new lunchtime projects. But we'll see. It all depends. I'm going to spin the wheel now to see what my next start is going to be. It's about noon. Got in from work at 4 a.m. Um, I have to leave for work in like two, a little less than two hours. So I have some time. If I skip unnecessary things like showering and washing dishes, I have a little bit of time to pull some threads and fabric for a new start. So uh, we're going to spin the wheel. Um, so let's see. Let's see what the mania gods have chosen for us today. That is, okay, um, let me get it out and I'll show it to you. So the Tiny Decisions app picked um, by the Bay, from by the Bay, Fluffy Flowers, Hannah, which is this iris. So um, I have some of the TMC pulled already. So I just need to pick fabric and pull these green colors if I have them. And uh, that should, that should uh, make me ready to start. And hopefully I can get a couple stitches in before I have to go to work. So um, let's go upstairs and see if we have the right threads and um, pick some fabric. Okay, so I went through my stash and I have all of uh, one of the called for threads. I don't have this lighter color here, or this lighter gold color. That's 833 and I have, no, that's 832 and I have 833, which is one shade even lighter. 
it might work okay, but I might also go to Michael's at some point and try and pick that up. So I'm trying to decide between doing it on the called for colors on color and cotton tea leaves, which is this kind of like greeny brown neutral here, or changing the stem color and using these brighter greens and doing it on this color and cotton lemonade, which is a brighter yellow. I don't know, this is like more prim and kind of nicer for the design, but this one is more fun. Hmm. Hmm. I think I'm gonna go with tea leaves. Also, it's a smaller count, so it will be smaller overall. Okay, so I'm gonna pull out a Q-snap and start that up. Okay, so that's as far as I got. I have to get ready for work now, um, but I can already tell this is gonna be a super easy, nice, enjoyable stitch. So maybe I will bring it to work with me to work on during lunch and uh, see how much more I can get done. Our lunch will be till like 9 p.m. <laughs> Which is kind of regular stitching time anyway, so that's good. So yeah. Um, okay guys, I will talk to you later. Okay, so I got no more stitching done yesterday because it was a crazy day. Work was crazy long. I got in um, lunchtime. I just needed to eat and like zone out. I couldn't stitch, um, got back from work at like 8 a.m. It is uh, almost 4 p.m. now and I have to leave in 30 minutes to go back to work. Um, but it is our last night and then this movie will be over and I will be on a bit of a mini staycation. So um, I just have to get through one more day. So anyway, I don't have a whole lot of time right now to do a proper new start on anything. So I thought the best thing to do would be to start a Mill Hill kit. And then I was going through all the kits I had and you know, none of the flosses are, are come pre-sorted and I didn't wanna have to deal with brown versus medium brown. And um, some of my other kits are just like ones that are just beads and I don't really have time to put a bead in right now. So um, this is kind of my only option to start today, and so I'm going to start this little gingerbread cottage, and I think I'm just going to put one or two stitches in and then um, leave for work. So hopefully this weekend I can catch up on some of these and get some progress done. So, yeah. I'll see you guys in a second. All right, that's it. That's all I got time for today, so... Threw a couple stitches in. Counts as a start, right? I might even pull those out. They look a little wonky. Well, who cares? I mean, the beads are gonna cover a lot of that anyhow, but anyway, that's what I got, and I'm hoping for way more stitching time this weekend, and uh, I'm definitely gonna get a lot of stitching time on Monday because I'm off, so this vlog should get a little bit more interesting now that work well, once work is done in roughly 16 hours. <laughs> anyway, I'll see you guys. Uh, I'll see you guys in the wee hours of Saturday morning or, um, or Saturday afternoon, depending on how I feel. Bye for now. Good morning, or a good afternoon, rather. It is uh, Saturday, May 4th. May the 4th be with you. It's about 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Got in around 8 a.m. this morning and crashed for a little bit. But uh, I'm now officially on what I like to call fun employment. The job I was on, we finished our last day of principal photography around uh, 7 a.m. this morning. So I'm free for a little while and now have way more time to devote to important things like mania. So let's spin the wheel here and see what our new start will be for the day. Horsing around, okay. Um, that is a Little House Needleworks ornament. I will pull it out and show it to you. Okay, so you've probably all seen this before. This is from last year's Farmhouse series by Little House Needleworks, Horsin' Around. It's the only part of the series I bought. Um, as, uh, as you know from probably many of my past videos, my mom is really into horses. She has a horse, she rides regularly. She, she still goes to shows um, where she participates in, in show jumping. So 
I like to stitch her little horsey things or give her little horsey things. Um, and I happen to like horses as well, of course. So I'll probably stitch this a couple times, once for me and once for my mom. So I, I'm fairly certain I do not have, oops, that's the chart. I'm fairly certain I do not have any of the called for fancy floss. I'm pretty sure I have none of it. So I'll probably just pull DMC and, um, geez, I showed you the chart twice. Oh, well. Um, I'll probably just pull DMC and uh, Color and Cotton or I'll, I'll, I'll futz around in my fancy floss and see what's there and uh, I'll show you what I pulled and then we'll get started. It's nice that this is a small one so um, maybe I can get a lot of progress on this today and maybe, you know, who knows, maybe get a finish this weekend. Okay. Okay, so hard to see in the later afternoon light but I pulled some colors. Um, so I think for the green, I'm going to use Color and Cotton's Christmas Tree, which is a really nice green color. I'm going to use Color and Gar Cotton Cotton's Garnet for the red colors. The white will be B5200. Um, the brown, the, this lighter brown color, I will, for the chicken and the fence, I'm going to use DMC433, which is the called for. Um, and I might, for like the chicken beak and his legs, I might use this uh, Christmas gold, but it might be too close to the fabric color, so we'll see. Um, and then the horse, my mom's horse is gray. It's, she has a light, her horse is light gray, but I didn't want to do a really light gray horse on this fabric. This is a, a little piece of uh, 36 count vintage country mocha, which we got at the, la at the Floss Tube Retreat in New Jersey in our, in our swag bags. Uh, so for the horse, I'm gonna do uh, Color and Cotton Graveyard, which is like a brown gray. So that's what I'm gonna do, and I will let you know how far I get. Okay, so it's Sunday evening. It's about seven, seven o'clock, and um, I just wanted to show you where I got yesterday on horsing around. So I got the whole border done, and uh, almost completed both the trees and the fence. So and a couple of the snowflakes. So I'm pretty happy with that progress. Still a lot left to do. But I think that I could actually get this finished this month if I am able to pick it back up this week. So that's good news. I'm really pleased with how it's turning out so far. And um, I just love this green color, co color and cotton Christmas tree. It's just beautiful. I hope she dyes more of that so that I'm able to buy more because this is the most perfect, the most perfect green, I think. So we had a busy morning and uh, we had errands to run and then we went to go see Endgame and you know that movie's three hours long so I'm only just getting to my new start now so let's go ahead and spin the wheel and see what it will be. Oh that's kind of nice okay use it up so I'll show you what that is hang on one second. Okay so use it up is is this folk art samplers pattern as you can see it is Pretty simple and it should go pretty quickly. I bought this off the Silent Stitcher. She had a bit of a de-stash sale on Instagram and I bought this because my um, husband's family uses this. Um, this is this is kind of their motto, use it up, wear it out, make do or do without. So it's a little more prim than I usually stitch but I thought it was cute and um, yeah it should really only take me a couple of hours. So. That's good news. I will, uh, that means I might actually get a finish <laughs> in Mania. So I'm going to go upstairs and pull some fabric and threads and get it started. Okay, so the nice thing about these small patterns is it gives you a chance to, you know, especially when they're only text, it gives you a chance to play a little in your stash. Who's that coming down the stairs? Hello, big. Um, so I decided to go with this uh, scrap of cash all linen we got in our grab bag from the New Jersey floss tube retreat last year it's called dark teal green it's 28 count um, I'm going to use um, some dinky dyes in the colorway dragonfly um, it's from an oops pack so I'm, I'm not sure if this is if this color is an accurate representation of dragonfly because usually the oops packs are 
there's something wrong with that thread. That's why, um, that's why they're so discounted. But in any case, I thought this, it's like this pretty pinky purple green. And then this very pale lilac color is uh, the second color I'm going to use here um, for the dog. So, and this is from a Silks for You grab bag. So I don't know, um, I don't know what this color way name is either. Are you trying to jump up on the table? Hmm? Um, so yeah, I'm gonna get started and hopefully this will, hello? Coming up to say hello? Oh, hi. Hi. Yeah, don't walk up on me, Silk. Okay, so hopefully we'll get this done before Game of Thrones starts in a couple hours. Okay, so raise your hand if you also always think you can stitch faster than you can. <laughs> So um, this is all I got done in the like hour and a half before Game of Thrones started and then I had to put my stitching away because can't I can't stitch and watch Game of Thrones at the same time unless it's an episode I've already seen. So in any case, um, this is what I got done and I'm pretty happy with how the colors are turning out. Um, it's about 7 a.m. right now on Monday and my I have the whole day to myself till I'm up for work like three hours ago. <laughs> I tried to get up when he left, but uh, 4 a.m. I don't know. It's hard to get up at 4 a.m. <laughs> Unless you got a flight to catch or you got to get to the office. It's hard. Um, so my plan for today is I would really like to start a Rachel Holmes. This is by Heartstring Sampler. A Rachel Holmes sampler. I'm really excited to start this one. I have this all kitted up except for one or two threads. And those threads are coming in a one, two, three stitch order, which is going to be delivered today. So I figured while I'm waiting for the mailman to come, I will try and finish this guy. And if I'm able to get this guy done, um, then I will go back to working on horsing around to try and get some more progress on it. Um, so hopefully, Hopefully between now and like I'd say my mailman usually comes between two and four o'clock. I will be able to get at least one small finish in. So um, I mean I say that and then we'll see how fast I stitch. I don't know. I'm going to go watch upstairs, put Vana on. Um, I'm behind on a couple of her floss tubes and she's always pretty inspiring to get things done. So I'll go... Um, I'll go do that, um, and I will check in with you guys later after my threads are delivered. Uh, okay, so it is Monday evening. It's about 8.30, and I'm pretty happy to say that I did get a finish today. So I will only end Mania with at worst 18 whips if I do all 19 days. So I have one, one start to finish, and I'm really happy with how it turned out. I think these colors work really well together and I think it's pretty cute so that's all done I finished that this afternoon before the mail came um, but then we had some errands to run we decided to buy and pot some plants outside we were trying to get like our little outdoor patio ready, ready um, to enjoy dinner outside and then found that we have a little love seat outside, and um, that love seat must have been home to some stray cats or some raccoons over the winter because when we removed the cover that had been keeping it dry all winter, it was a disaster under there. So that was that was something we had to deal with this afternoon. But anyway, what oh, got a little finish in and 400 stitches for the quench tournament, which um, which is great. So um, I am hoping to start Heartstring Samplery's Rachel Holmes tonight. So I'm gonna put glare on that picture. So um, the fabric I chose for this is, let's see, where's the sticker? Um, Cashel Linen 28 Count and Summer Khaki. This is Weigart fabric. And I realized 
Yep, look at all those. So I don't know what happened. Those marks certainly were not there when I bought this, so I must have. I, it, it, I noticed these tiny dark marks here, and then I tried to um, get them out with some water, and I seem to have made them worse. So uh, I think I think there's still enough room on this fabric that if I start it on, you know, on the, you can see kind of the darker marks there, on the, the other way around, you know, with this towards the bottom, um, I probably can still fit the design on without having to worry about these marks. But that's a little frustrating. I don't know what I did. I'm, I'm sure that they weren't there when I bought the fabric, so I must have screwed up somewhat how. But anyway, here's something pretty to look at. So here are my threads. And I noticed as I was pulling out all the threads and checking them off the, um, the list that I forgot to buy one of the colors. I forgot to buy the darkest um, brown color here that is for the dog and the roof of the house. Um, which is Weeks Dyeworks Bark, I forgot to buy that. So I don't know what happened there either, but I think, you know, I think I can, um, I can at least get a start in this, sorry, I'm probably making you seasick. I can at least get a start in this border here around the edge and on the owl. Um, and then I will, I'll just have to order Bark with my next one, two, three stitch order. So, I mean, this is a big one anyway, so this will certainly not be a mania finish. Let's see, it's, it's inside. But anyway, I'm going to try and get a couple stitches in before I go to bed, and I will see you guys in the morning. Okay, good morning, guys. It's about 7 a.m. on Tuesday, um, and this is my pitiful start from last night. I only got about a, I only got a few stitches in. I wasn't feeling so good. I have a bit of a head cold. I'm sure you can hear it in my voice. And I'd taken a NyQuil, and, you know, once you take a NyQuil, stitching's Stitching's bad business on NyQuil, right? So, um, and I was feeling a little down about this project and how I was missing a thread and there's something wrong with the fabric and then, I don't know. I, sh I shouldn't have waited till so late at night to give it a start, probably. So that's, that's my bad. Oops. Anyway, um, but uh, a start is a start and I do love this chart and I will get back to it in the very near future. Um, and, uh, so for now, I woke up this morning excited to stitch. I've already spun the wheel, um, in a previous take that is no good. So you'll just have to believe me. But, uh, today, uh, we're going to start gardening Santa, um, which is one of the Prairie Schooler Santas. I'm sure you're all familiar with it. And I'm going to go, I know exactly what fabric I'm going to stitch that on. So I'm going to go pull all that out and put in some stitches and I will see you later today after I've got some work in on him. Okay. Bye. Uh, nothing. This is why mania is kind of a challenge for me because I have a hard time starting projects because nothing can ever be simple, right? Unless you buy a kit <laughs> and even then. So this, this is Poinsettia Santa, I, Gardening Santa, Poinsettia Santa. I can't remember what he's called, um, but there he is. And uh, without showing you the chart, so the main symbol, that F symbol down there, they call her 221 and they call it red. Looks like red. Well, 221, you'll see on my color card, is really, the colors must have changed, right? Because this is an old chart, so now this is called dark shell pink and it's really like a pink brown. So then I went, and so I, so I pulled a couple reds that I thought might work and I kind of feel like a 347, is like red, it's like Christmas red, but it's got kind of like a vintagey feel to it, much like um, the called for green, which is 501, and then 50, 503 are the called for greens um, for in here. And uh, sorry, my hands are filthy. And here. Um, so I thought that this red would go with those colors because those are the main colors in, in all of these designs, really, is that red and green. And then for white, they call for ecru, but I, I don't think that's going to work. I think I'm going to go with uh, B5200. I'm going to use uh, 349 for 
the um, poinsettias and the lobster here because that needs to be like an, a more orange red. Um, and those don't really, that color doesn't really appear anywhere else, so that's fine. So um, that's what I figured out so far. Um, I will worry about the browns, uh, the brown colors, the watering can, and the wheelbarrow and the pots um, later on, but I'm gonna just try and at least get a start on the border and his hat um, and maybe his beard for now. I've got like an hour of stitchy time left after I figured all that out. So, I mean, if I was a smart person, I would have done all this work in like March and April of kidding all these things up, but I'm not. I mean, this is the part of the fun for me too, like having to run to my stash and see what's there and pull colors, so. And this is a 28 count DMC Irish linen, which you can sometimes find at Michael's. I have a couple pieces of it. And I think, um, I don't know, am I gonna go over two or am I gonna go over one? If I go over two, they'll be like, um, If I go over two, they'll be like five by four, a little more than five by four, closer to six by four on 28 count. If I go over one, they'll be like three by two. Hmm. I guess I'll go over two. It's, it's okay to have giant pillow ornaments on your tree, right? Hmm. Okay, so it is, what day is it? It's Wednesday, it's Wednesday. Um, and this is how far I got yesterday. This is a pretty good start, I think. I'm gonna work on this a little bit more today because I'm working on this for one of the extra credit challenges in Magical Stitches, which is to stitch something you might find in a fancy winter ball. And I'm saying that, you know, maybe, maybe there'd be some flower arrangements with poinsettias because they're kind of like, they're a winter flower, traditionally, a Christmas flower. So, um, yeah, I need about 200 more stitches in this to fulfill that requirement, so I will probably try and get those in today and get a little more work done on him. But um, first things first, let's spin the wheel and see what our new start is. Um, be until it be that. I think that is a typo for um, be beautiful. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that is a yes. Um, let's let me just pull that out. Yes, so um, that was supposed to say be beautiful, but uh, I guess my phone auto corrected it to untitled. <laughs> but anyway, that's uh, this design by the Nevi Needle, um, which I have been looking forward to starting for a little while. So. And this will fit into um, the Magical Stitches Challenge to stitch on something that lays eggs because bees lay eggs, I think, right? Okay, so I've pulled some threads. So this design calls for a picture of this plus mellow, which I've stitched on before. Um, my Kathy Bear cat is on that, and that's super yellow. And um, I like yellow, but yeah. Um, so I think um, I'm gonna stitch this design on Picture This Plus Ariel, which is this very light blue color. I have the call for coal. Um, oh, by the way, remember like two days ago when I started Rachel Holmes and I was like, oh, I didn't buy the collar bark. Uh, well, I just found it. I did buy it. I just, I don't know. It was in the wrong place. So that's good. But anyway, okay, so I have the call for coal. Um, and I'm either going to do the wings in ye old gold and the little orange spots on the body in um, red pear, this pink color, or, or the audible is, um, I'm going to do, use these jinky dyes from the Oops Packs. This is maybe Cobar and Aussie Gold. And then um, they have this labeled as Conundra, but I know for a fact, because I have that color, um, that's, that is way off. 
this like pinky brown color. Um, this looks a lot better in person than it does on camera, but that's kind of like my other thoughts. So I'm gonna start by stitching the body. I thought it might be nice to like do the black in cotton and then um, the body in cotton and then do the wings at least in, in like silk to give them that kind of um, shimmery effect. So I'm leaning this way, but I kind of feel like these colors are stronger. Or maybe they're too strong. I don't know, I'll start with the black and then um, I'll see, I might do, and I'll see how I feel about the wings and the and the silk, and then I'll make a decision about the 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 pink here. Um, I'm using the pink instead of this pink tone instead of the charted orange tone because I want this to hang next to my prairie school bees. And if you'll remember, the colors in that are like dark gray, light blue, pinky brown, and gold. So I think um, we'll keep that color combination up. Okay, so I'm going to throw some stitches in and we'll figure it, we'll, you know, I guess we'll see how it goes. Good morning, guys. Look how much I got done yesterday. I got 700 stitches into this guy. I'm super, super happy with how it's looking. I decided to blend the darker silk and the lighter silk of the gold colors from the Tiki Dyes Oops Packs together for the wings and I I'm really happy with how it's looking. But anyway, let's uh, let's spin the wheel. Oops, let's not knock my coffee over onto my, my project with silk. Um, Hockey Santa. Okay, that's easy. Because I already have points out of Santa out and I will just do them on the same fabric. That's a prairie schooler Santa. You guys have all seen that before. But uh yeah, I guess because I, I I guess I'll do him in the same colors as points out of Santa, which means I shouldn't have to pull anything, which means I should be able to get um get a good chunk of work into him today. Okay guys, I will um I'm gonna get to stitching. I have an appointment this morning and things to do this afternoon. So I will see you tomorrow morning with an update on where I'm at. Okay, so it's about nine o'clock on Friday night. I didn't check in yesterday. Yesterday was kind of crazy. I had an appointment and I did stitch a few hours in the morning before my appointment, but I, I just thought, oh, I'll just keep stitching on the B and then I would do my new start when I got home. So I did get some more work done on the B. Get this pinky orange silk in from the Dinky Dye Swoops pack. Um, and some more work on the wing. So I'm hoping to finish that before the end of the month. I'm gonna keep that on my snap um, in a project bag ready to go. Um, and, uh, and then I got home from my appointment and I just had a bunch of things to do, so I actually didn't get to my new start until today. Um, so I, I'm one behind. I gotta do another one tonight before I go to bed. So um, this is the Prairie Schooler Hockey Santa, and this is really all I got done on him. This little corner here with this pom pom. That's his hat right there. <laughs> but I did. I, I mean, I just started this a few minutes ago, um, and I'm gonna put it away and spin the wheel and do something else, but I, I did I did get a lot lot of work done today on the points out of Santa. I got 500 more stitches into that for um, an extra credit challenge and magical stitches, so I did that. And then today I also, I also finished um, my first media start, which was the Little S'mores Mill Hill, so got a lot of stitching in. I just uh, I just really failed on the start. <laughs> but that's okay. So I guess let's go ahead and spin the wheel and see what we're gonna what we're gonna start before we go to bed. Oh 
Oh, okay, Fragments in Time 2017. Let me pull that out and I'll show it to you. Okay, so this is Fragments in Time 2017. I'm fairly certain I have um, none, none of the Call for Colors or linen. So um, I am going to start this tomorrow, but I just do not have the mental capacity right now to do a color conversion, even with the help of Google. I can't even record this video clip properly. So might have something to do with my after dinner beverage. Our friends got me this uh, glass for Christmas. <laughs> wine whenever, stitching forever. But you know, when you get to about here in the wine glass, it's, um, it's no longer easy to do color conversions. <laughs> so, so in any case, I'm, I'm gonna start this tomorrow and I'll double up and do two starts tomorrow. I said that about today, but tomorrow I'll do it for real. So um, I'll, I will start this tomorrow, and then I did spin the wheel again for another new start for tomorrow, but I reset it so you can't see what it is because I it's a secret stitch and it's a gift. And I think that the person who it is for will probably watch this video, at least she usually does. And um, if she sees the name of the chart, she will probably know it's a gift for her. So, um, yeah, so I'm not going to tell you the name of the chart. I'm not going to show you what it looks like. I'll just show you tomorrow progress on it. And hopefully, um, from a little bit of, uh, from, from a few little blocks, you'll be able to tell what it is and it will remain a surprise. So in any case, I'm going to go relax now and, um, probably hit that, hit, hit bed, hit, hit bed, hit, <laughs> hit the hay pretty soon. And I will talk to you guys tomorrow night. Bye. <clears throat> hey friends, it is Sunday morning. A little bit before seven. Woke up early today for a Sunday. So I just wanted to show you what I got done yesterday. I did get both new starts in, so I made a small start on Fragments in Time. Um, I didn't have the gentle art, so I pulled some DMC, and then I, um, for the age pewter, I pulled this Winter Garden by Color and Cotton. This is uh, showing up a lot more green on camera than in real life. It looks closer to blue-gray. Um, but as you can see from the picture, that's, that's not, that's still not even the right color so I'm gonna maybe the DMC conversion for age pewter is 169 but that's pretty gray and this looks pretty blue so I might just order the called for color for this the silvery blue color and for the deer I don't know or um, and also grasshopper I'm missing and I didn't really have a good DMC conversion for that so We'll see, but I, I got a small start in and may have to either go buy some DMC of of a of a better color match for those colors or order the actual colors or I don't know. That's a problem for future Caitlin. That's why I got started on that and um, this is what I got done on my mystery my mystery stitch. Pretty good chunk. It's just like, you know, a couple hundred stitches of beige. Can you tell what it is yet? Okay, um, so let's, um, let's spin the wheel. So I went through and I took out uh, I took some things off the wheel. I took the remainder of the Prairie Schooler Santas I had on there off because I would have to, I don't have enough done on Hockey Santa to move over on that same piece of fabric and start another one. Ooh, <clears throat> that's my voice before coffee, whoops. Um, I, um, yeah, so I took, I took out some of the Prairie Schooler Santas. I took a couple things off the list that I'm just not feeling like starting this week. So everything on the list I'm pretty jazzed about. So 
Um, let's see. Let's see what the wheel says. Pizza shop. Oh, I've had that one for a while. Let me show you that one. Okay, so this is the pizza shop chart. Isn't that cute? So basically, you stitch all the sides to this uh, house or storefront, and then you put it together the same way you put together a Viscornu. So, I think it's funny they call it a cell phone accessory. <laughs> I mean, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna use it as a Christmas ornament, I think, because we are, we are a very pro pizza family. Let me tell you, that's the best part about living in New York. That like almost any neighborhood you're in, you can walk a couple blocks and just grab a slice of pretty good pizza. Almost always. It's, a, it's definitely one of the best parts of New York. It's raining super hard outside. I don't know if you can hear that. It's going to be a gloomy day, a perfect day to stay inside and stitch. All right, well, I'll talk to you guys later tonight. Hi guys, um, so this is how far I got yesterday. I got all the red outlined, and I got some of the red on the inside complete. I didn't get as far as I would have liked. Um, I, uh, I had like a headache and some weird eye pain yesterday. I don't know, maybe I just like had been stitching and reading too much. <laughs> I'm not really sure what's going on with that, but I, I decided not to push it. So I did a little bit of stitching, but I, and not really any reading and uh, you know, spent most of the day kind of lying down, resting, which was kind of a waste of a rainy, rainy day, but it happens. So not much, not much done on that, but um, that's okay. I'll get back to this and it's, it's a fun stitch. So I, you know, um, I, I just have been stitching it on this off-white color Ada, which I thought I didn't have any white. <laughs> and I also think this kind of works better, right, for a building, especially a building in New York. You don't get super white buildings in New York. Um, yeah. So um, I'm not going to spin the wheel today. I'm going to, instead I'm going to do, clear. I'm going to start Brenda Keys is a, uh, a sampler story. I've been dying to start this, so instead of spinning the wheel, I'm just going to go ahead and start it. I'm going to stitch this on um, Y Gart 32 count uh, smoky white, which I think is kind of um, kind of nice. Okay. So with the Culver DMC. That's my plan anyway. Good morning, guys. It's Tuesday morning, and this is how far I got on the samplers. <coughs> Hi, Elliot. <laughs> yeah. Give me one second, and then we'll cuddle. Um, so this is how far I got on the sampler story yesterday by Brenda Keys. This is off Mom's Fabric, please. Um... This is basically it's a little bit of a there from the light. That block there, which is, it's hard to tell because this picture is so dark, but it's a birdhouse, some birds, and a dog, and a doghouse, and a tree. So I just got, I got a little start there on the corner. Um, I put like two hours of work into this, and then um, I had to do some other things. But the colors are a lot more brown than I thought they were going to be. That's so okay. So uh, this morning I'm not going to spin the wheel. I'm going to start afternoon in New York. I've got four days and four starts left, right? Today's five. Five days and five starts left. So I just kind of want to start getting to some of the things I'm excited about. I mean, I'm excited about everything, but um, I feel like since there's only so many left, I'm going to just start choosing things that I definitely wanted to start in, in Mania and uh, go from there. So this is one of the ones I definitely wanted to start that was kitted up. So um, I'm just kind of trying to decide on fabric. The main color, that one of the main building's colors is um, this seagull color. It's a little dark in this room, so things are not showing up as true to color. But that's kind of my real concern is that this gray shows up on the fabric. I think this is, this is color in cotton, I think it's blue jay or bluebird. 
I think it's too blue. This is Silk Weaver Morning Mist, and this is Picture This Plus Mercedes. Um, just kind of looking at these, I think, although I think Morning Mist is the prettiest color, I think that Mercedes is probably the best bet. Um, hey guys, it is, um, it's still Tuesday morning. It's, it's about 8, 8 a.m., like one hour, one hour later. <laughs> um, I intended to work on this until about 8.30, but I got these 27 stitches in, and I think, I think that's it for me on this one for now. Um, I got my light on behind the camera. I'm not sure if that's helping or hurting. Um, but, so, so I am still having eye problems. I think, I think I need a new prescription. I do have an appointment made, but they can't see me for a couple weeks. And, um... I don't, I don't know why it feels kind of like this happened overnight all of a sudden on Sunday. It was impossible um, to stitch, but um, possibly it's been happening for a while and I only just noticed because we've had a few um, rainy days where it's been darker in the house and a few, you know, I had a significant, I had a week where I was able to stay home and stitch. For a long time so but um i ha i struggled with these 27 stitches to it's not that i can't see them it's like it hurts to see them if that's if that makes sense which i think is an indication that i need to go to the optometrist so that's um unfortunate but i, I think um i'm gonna i'm gonna pause this project for now and i am going to Go back to working on um, that pizza shop fob because it's on Ada, and after that maybe I'll I'll go back to perforated paper and just kind of try and give myself a break for the rest of the week. So um, I'm gonna put this away. Um, I'm watching Leah Noel right now. I'm catching up on on her mania video. Pause right there. Uh, Lola has a new hat for the summer, so two different. It's from a gas station in upstate New York, um, as all the best things are. So, um, yep. Yeah. Okay. Well, um, I'm, I'm going to go back to, uh, I'm just going to go to a larger, larger count, smaller count, I guess, technically, um, I'm gonna, for at least today. And I will check in with you tomorrow. And, uh, you know, maybe tomorrow is a good day to start a Mill Hill kit. Um, anyway, sorry, this is like a four minute clip about 27 stitches, but, uh, there you go. Hi friends. So it is, what is it? Today's Wednesday. It's about five o'clock in the afternoon. So yesterday I convinced my optometrist to squeeze me in and she took a look at my eyes and it's possible I need a prescription change, but... So basically, she had me like cover my left eye and try and read, you know, the art, the eye chart they have, and I um, couldn't read anything on the chart with my right eye, even though I was wearing my glasses, um, which are supposed to correct your vision. So that was kind of nuts. But then she looked in my eye, and there seemed to be some like redness and some inflammation on the inside of the eye that she said could be causing my vision problems. So she gave me some drops and they have made things so much better. The pain is gone. I can see <laughs> to stitch again. Um, I'm going in tomorrow for a follow-up to double check that I don't need reading glasses, but it, it might be fine. So um, in any case, I was able to stitch uh, yesterday evening after my appointment and then um, I continued to stitch this morning and I was able to finish the pizza shop. It had, it's not assembled yet. I think I am going to wait to assemble it till next week um, because we are going away this weekend 
which I'll get to in a minute. But in any case, all the stitching is done and all the back stitching is done. And it's turned out pretty cute, I think. I really like the sketchy kind of cartoony look of the design. And it's not that many colors, and I used all the called for colors, except for I think this orange color was supposed to be 740 and I didn't have it, so I used um, 921 or whatever the closest was, and it, it looks fine. Oh, and maybe the gray was supposed to be 413, and I used 414. Um, but I think it turned out really cute, and I'm excited to put it together, and um, I think it'll make a cute Christmas ornament. Um, for our pizza loving household. This is the bottom here, which I think is really cute. So, um, yeah, so, um, so like I said, it's about five o'clock in the evening, so I still have to make my new start, my 15th new start. Um, and we are going to go away. Um, tomorrow's kind of a busy day. I have some appointments and uh, I have to meet a friend and we have to pack and then Friday morning we're leaving bright and early to go to Lancaster, Pennsylvania for a little four day weekend. Um, we're going to stay at a hotel, we're going to visit some quilt shops and some stitch shops. Um, my husband said plan a little weekend getaway anywhere within three hours driving distance and um, you know if he didn't want to go to stitching shops he should have planned on himself. <laughs> um, so we're going to go to some quilt shops and some stitching shops but also some restaurants and the farmers market and see the sights of the area and the weather is supposed to be better it's finally stopped raining it might get up to 80 this weekend so it's going to be really really nice um so i wanted to go ahead and choose my projects that i'm taking with me because we'll be there i'll be able to do a new start at home tomorrow morning but then friday morning i won't be able to get to it until friday evening and we'll be in a hotel We'll be in the hotel until Monday morning, so my last three starts of Mania, I'll need to pack with me. So I think tonight, what I'm gonna work on, is I have, I have um, Dylan go through my list of potential starts and look at them all and choose. So I think tonight what I'm gonna work on is um, this Mill Hill um, Black Cat, because it's just beads, no cross stitches, and I'm gonna work on that until um, dinner time and then after dinner I'll see about finishing it. It should be a quick a quick finish. Um, and the last four he chose, um, the bear and the beets, which this has been on my wanting to start list since I got it I feel like over a year ago. So I'm excited to start that one. I asked him to choose a couple of Mill Hill kits since we'll be at a hotel and it's kind of easier to, I think it's easier to take Mill Hill kits when you're traveling so you don't have to worry about kitting things up. They're already kitted and um, I'll just bring my floss card with me to help me sort the threads and uh, they take up less space. So I'm gonna bring this Golden Sun, which I originally was gonna start earlier in Mania, but the, for the Quidditch tournament, but I ended up not starting it because somebody caught the golden snitch before I even woke up. And then footage was canceled. Or the remaining the remaining games were canceled. Um, as I'm sure most of you know, so I never never got to it. Um, but I think this would be pretty to hang up year round in my living room or to put on my fridge as a magnet. So I'm gonna bring that one. And then I'm gonna bring um, Merry Christmas Santa which is the Santa Dylan chose. He said that this guy had a good beard. Um, the other Santas also have good beards, but I, I guess he thought this beard was better. So there we go. And um, the last one I'm gonna do um, is uh, Little House Need Needleworks One More Stitch. I, I don't have any of these called for colors. It calls for all classic color works. I don't have them, but I'm just gonna go through my floss box and see what I have to pull. It only uses, what is that, six colors? A white, a uh, black, a cherry cobbler, what is that? A red, a blue, a brown, and a green. So that, that should be pretty easy. Um, so I'm gonna kit that up tonight or tomorrow morning and kit up the Bear and the Bees tonight or tomorrow morning and get these things all packed up to go with us. Hello. It is Saturday afternoon. I didn't check in yesterday. 
um, we got up early, and then we had a really busy day in Pennsylvania. So I, I didn't even get a chance to do any start yesterday. So here's where I got on Thursday in the Bear and the Bees. And uh, now I've got to squeeze in two starts today to catch up. So I'm going to take a couple minutes here to um, start the Mill Hill kits that I brought with me. We're in Pennsylvania for three nights, so obviously I brought th about 10 projects in case I finish everything. Hey guys, I hope you can hear me okay. I'm uh, on our hotel balcony, which um, has a really fantastic view of a mini golf place and a highway. Not every, not every balcony can be a winner. Anyway, I wanted to show you guys where I got to. So it's it's Sunday afternoon. It is the last day of mania. I have been enjoying my vacation thoroughly, so I haven't been doing as much stitching as I normally would. Go figure. Um, brought, how many projects did I bring? Bought a lot of projects. <laughs> Pretty much so far I've only stitched on this. So this is um, the Mill Hill golden sun kit. I started this yesterday and um, then I decided to go ahead and finish all the stitching because that was, well I needed to finish my magical stitches homework before, before midnight. So I finished all the stitching and then I still was 10 stitches short so this line up here I just threw in to, uh, to make the number of stitches I needed. So. So um, when I get home, this will be ready for beading. So that's great. And then I got my second to last start started. I uh, got to start on Merry Christmas Santa. And I have a whole, can you see it, you can see it there? I have a whole three stitches done on his hat. And that's where I'm gonna leave that one because it is time for my last mania start. Hopefully you can hear it's pretty windy out, but okay, so my my last start is going to be One More Stitch by Little House Needleworks, and so I pulled from my stash, I pulled some Dinky Dye Silks from the Oops Packs. I have blue, what is, I think, it's supposed to be blue grove work, Valley Mist, um, the red I pulled was Kayla's Rose, the black I pulled was Black Coral. Um, the brown iron mark and um, acacia, Ac acacia for the green. Again, these are from an oops pack, so the colors here might not be an accurate representation of what the colors are supposed to be. Um, so I, I was kind of, I decided to make a game time decision. I packed both color and cotton Car Carrera marble is this very light purple color and um, color and cotton treasure map and I decided to make a game time decision about those two and then I thought oh this week's dye work teal color I got recently um, at the stitch store in Pennsylvania that might work but I, I don't think it does it means I'd have to pick a different blue and I think it's just too strong of a color so that one's eliminated and then you know I just think this light, light, white purple color is going to blend in to the Carrera marble fabric too much. And I suppose instead of using it, I could use like B5200. But I have a lot of projects on light gray, bluey, purpley fabric. And, you know, I mean, I also have done a lot of projects on brown fabric. <laughs> so that's not saying much, but I, I think I'm going to go with the treasure map. It's a larger count, so I'll have to use two strands. Maybe it won't look as... No. This is just too close. Although I do like the purple. Oof. If you think I'm wrong, don't tell me because I'm already going to make the decision. So I'm going to go. I'm going to go with the treasure map. It's closer to the original design, and uh, I think it'll be just fine. So, 
the cat hair followed me to Pennsylvania. Okay, so um, I am going to measure my starting point and throw a couple stitches in and, you know, um, mania will be done. So the next time I see you guys, well, I guess when I get home tomorrow, I will do a little recap, a little intro, which you'll have already seen, and edit this vlog together. It might be pretty long. Sorry, not sorry. And I will catch up with you guys in June. I'm I'm ending my mania on today, the 19th, the 19th day of mania, with 19 starts. So far I've finished three of them, but I'm thinking I'm going to spend the rest of the month just really trying to finish um, everything that I have started in mania. And so I'll recap that for you in June when I see you again with a regular cross tube update. And then any projects for mania that I don't get finished before June 1st are going to... Um, I'm going to go into my year of whips because I believe in June we're allowed to add projects to that. So that's my plan. Anyway, um, I hope you guys had a fantastic mania. If you if you observed, I hope you had a great time. And I hope wherever you are um, today that it's sunny and beautiful and you're enjoying some stitching. <laughs>